This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the new features in Adobe Premiere Pro version 14.4. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I want to illustrate how automatic scene detection works. Scene detection marks edits wherever a video changes, and it does this in one of three ways. It can apply a cut at each detected edit, or it can create a bin of subclips for each detected edit, or it can apply clip markers for each detected edit. Now, when it does scene detection, it cuts both the audio and the video in a linked clip. But to prevent cutting the audio, if all you want to do is to cut the video, separate the audio from the video before scene detection, Adobe says, or after detection and after the cuts are made, select the audio, right-click, and choose Merge. Now, this is what Adobe says. The problem is neither one of those work. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. For the most reliable results, leave your audio and video linked. Here I have a scene, courtesy of Standard Films, of some mad fools snowboarding down a mountain. Now this is a single clip, yet it's got multiple different takes inside it. This is typical of DV or HDV or trying to re-edit an already edited project. You want to be able to break it down into individual shots. To do that, first select the clip, go up to the Clip menu, and choose Scene Edit Detection. You now have three choices. It can apply a cut at each detected cut point, or create a bin of subclips, or create clip markers. And I'll illustrate all three, but I'm going to start by applying a cut and click Analyze. The analysis process, the first time you do it, can take a long time, longer than you expect. But once that data loads into the computer, doing it again is much quicker. Generally, I allow about half the duration of the clip. In this case, it's a two-minute clip, and it should analyze in between 35 seconds to a minute. As Premiere gets close to finishing, watch the timeline. Poof. What it's just done is it's looked for every scene change in the clip. Here's the frame before, here's the frame later. Here's the new frame, there's the frame before. Here's the new frame, there's the frame before. It's done a really good job of looking and finding the new scenes. At this point, we can re-edit a piece, or we can add color correction, or do extracts, whatever it is that we needed to do. Now we've got them divided back into clips. Now let's just do Command-Z, undo that. And we're going to do the same thing, except you notice that the audio was also cut. So I'm going to select the entire clip, right-click on it, and say Unlink. Now the audio is separate from the video. I select the video clip, go to Clip, Scene Edit Detection. We're going to have it cut it again, click Analyze, and now the analysis is much faster. But it also doesn't cut the clip. For some reason, unlinking the audio, though it should allow scene detection to work, does not. Okay, let's try that again. I want to make sure I got it right. Okay, so I'm going to select the video, go to Sequence, so I go to Clip, Scene Edit Detection, apply a cut, Say Analyze. I don't see a whole lot happening. Do you see a whole lot happening? No, I don't either. Okay, let's click Cancel. Let's try that again. Select the clip. Go to Clip. Scene Edit Detection. Click Analyze. For some reason, there's a bug where if the audio and the video are unlinked, the, there it is, click link, the scene edit detection doesn't work. Select the clip, now they're linked, go to clip, scene edit detection, we'll apply a cut, click analyze. When they're linked, it works, and the audio is cut. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 293. By the way, 
When you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.